Hey Cake Nieces, it's Marisha, and today we're gonna do a simple yet colorful traditional-ish. Are rosettes considered traditional because they are to me? We're gonna make a rainbow rosette cake. We're also gonna do a red velvet cake from scratch. This is a very delicious red velvet cake, and it's gonna have cream cheese frosting in the center and vanilla frosting on the outside. It's so tasty. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients that we're gonna need for our tasty red velvet cake. Flour, sugar, butter, cocoa powder, eggs, oil, buttercream, vanilla, red, this is moving way too fast, red food color, baking soda, and baking powder. Now, we're going to start off by creaming our butter, and by the way, you're going to check below for the exact measurements because you see I can't move fast enough for the video. We're going to add our sugar, and we're going to cream our sugar and butter together. And then we're going to add our eggs, one egg at a time. And then let it beat for a couple of minutes so that it can really fluff up and get pale in color. While our mixture is creaming, we're going to drizzle in our oil. And then after a couple of minutes, we can add our buttermilk. After two minutes, in goes the vanilla extract and then the red dye. Now, as you can see, I just add as much dye as I need to get the red that I want. Then we're going to add our coffee. Did I forget to mention coffee? We need some coffee for this because it is a chocolate cake and the coffee really brings out great flavors. So in a separate bowl, we've got all of our dry ingredients, our flours, our cocoa powder, our baking powder and baking soda. And we're going to whisk all of that together to make it light and fluffy. Incorporate that with the wet ingredients just a little bit at a time. I do this in either two or three increments add a little bit and then mix it in so that we don't over mix our batter and voila red velvet I made two layers of red velvet cake. I wish I made more. I love a good layer of cake. This baked in the oven for about 25 minutes at 350 degrees. You want to let this cake set in the pan. It has to rest. Otherwise, it will be super crumbly and it will stick to the bottom of your pan like mine kind of did. But once we got it together, we got it together. So this is my cream cheese frosting. And I do have this recipe in a few other videos. But you can also check below for that recipe as well. I was asked to make this cake look like a rainbow rosette cake, so I've got all of my cutter cutters. I put all of my colored buttercreams into individual plastic wrap roll-ups so that I could use the exact same piping bag and just switch them all out. As you can see, my cake is crumb coated and it's ready to go, so now I can begin my rosettes. That's it, you guys. Tis it, tis all. Couture in a red velvet rainbow swirl cake. Bye, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. For more recipes, you can check my previous videos as well as a video from the side of my face right now. Please subscribe to this channel and like the video. I like you. Don't you like me? No? Yeah? 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 Bye, guys.